Hey buddy, welcome to the Free Jays. So today we're um, getting the gas man to come around to do a bit of um, inspection before I start the build. Because you have to have a gas certification when you have like a caravan or a mobile home. So best way to do it is get old mate around to um, tell me all the rules and regulations. And he's just giving me the go ahead to make my boxes. So I'm going to make two boxes right here, be two gas bottles side by side and then just over here will be another box for the hot water system and he's going to come back and run the copper pipes right along the roof here to where the stove will be over there. He um, doesn't seem to have a great idea on what the rules and regulations are when it comes to being in a bus. He does a lot of caravan stuff but as long as this is a sealed compartment with a air vent through the floor like an inch big it'll be passable but he doesn't quite know about the pipes within the luggage compartment because they're meant to be outside the vehicle and this is kind of inside the vehicle because you can still you know this is sort of our bed straight through there but he's going to do a bit more research and get back to us but for now I'm going to make up these boxes and he reckons about five, six hundred bucks he'll come finish it. I've also got to put a door in here to say um, flammable goods and it'll be a just a hinged plastic sort of door so um, you can access it from the outside and it has to have a key lock you can't have nuts and bolts on it apparently. So that's my job, make a couple of boxes. I have to go down to Bunnings. See mate, this is four, five. Here you come down here. Four, five. Down here. Four. Four. Now you get a straight edge. Excuse me. Excuse me. Now he has to do that one to measure. No, then we're going to draw a line through here, look. So we have and so that's why we, and then we can measure. Then we have this thing. Look at my shape. So this is such a little pain in the ass project because the bus is like um curved in at the bottom so I've had to recess these um, plywood to make it flush and obviously it's not flush there you can have to keep going with the um, jigsaw to try and make it nice and flush because this has to be a sealed compartment for the gas bottles to live in but one more try and it'll be sealed can see down here I've done a bit of a I've routed it out so that can get good seal I'll glue that in and, and screw it it'd be awesome when it's sealed welcome to the free jays my name is Jono this is Jordan and today 
we are making a gas box so we yeah. can store cylinders for the barbecue and hot water system and the stove which is going to be standing up in the kitchen to make cookies mum likes to cook doesn't she so do you buddy yeah yeah and I'll tell everyone else what all it back, what all the rest of it. Everyone, today we dropped mummy out the airport last early. Now mummy's gone because she's gonna come back tonight. Where's she been? To Kettlebell competition. Kettlebell competition. We had a boys weekend. Yep, boys weekend. John's too busy doing something. I'm just going to pass him this top. He's done. He's done. Do you want to face it, Jenna? Do you want to go to John? Yes. Copy, copy Jordan. Hey, do you want to go to John? Do you? Just, just face it. Right, over to Jono. So I'm just finishing the box up. She's pretty schmicko. See the door. It's going to be where the gas bottles come in from the outside of the bus. And also, there will be a hot water system box right here. I'm going to make that one next. Over and out. Yeah, if you can. Mr. Hole? That's good enough. This one's for the hot water heat system, but I didn't see this coming. They've got actually um, steel structure to hold the bins together, and um, it's double tinned, so I'll have to go through both. So when I bought this bus, the guy that said to me, you better um, fix all the water leaks, and he reckons that's the only thing that would be wrong with the bus. I'm just cutting into this panel here and there's a solid beam across here and the water's coming down through the windows and sitting in between these two panels on that beam so you can imagine like 10 15 liters come out of here so the second job is to um seal the bus so there's no water anywhere U gun it's black and white and a big thing what what you do and a big long black thing mm. and a push this thing and it goes like this children <laughs>
check this out. Finally, it took me three days of planning, gluing, painting. Finally got gas bottles, certification all done and dusted. Had a bit of a mishap with the door. So I bought a door that had air vents in the front and because my hot water system is like only 600 away, it's too close. So I had to change the setup, have a solid door that's fully sealed and then have an air vent coming out the floor. That way it's 1.5 from that air vent to the inlet for the hot water system. This meets specifications. So everyone that thinks that you need a air vent in the front, top and bottom, it's, it's bullshit. So here we go. She's gonna have two gas bottles on the inside. Left and right. And to secure it, man, I've just got like trucky hockey straps, fractured them tight. So happy to have it finished. First project so done. So this is the finished product on the inside. I know the box is cream and the bin's grey, but I got this paint from the dump for free, so I'll change it out later on. When you come up here, this is what the gas man did. So the gas box is there, comes out to a T-piece, one to the hot water, one to the gas stove, and when I put the gas stove in later on, it'll just be run up and in through the floor here, up into the kitchen. Check this out. Damn sexy stove. So I've done my research for the last two days straight to work out what appliances are suitable for mobile homes and it's a pain in the rectum. So um, this Amelia, they're a European brand and they're the only stove on the market that will be, like the manufacturers said that it can be run without electricity, 240 volt electricity. All the other ones use the 240 volt electricity to um, run sensors and safety mechanisms, but this a European brand is the only one that is safe to go into a mobile home by the sounds of it. And they also have, the new models, have the safeguard cut off switches so this will sense gas and not flame it'll cut off so if someone accidentally turns this on it'll um it'll shut it down because there's no flame so that's how we get away with having a full-size stove in the mobile home hey guys thanks for watching the video please subscribe on youtube and if you if you like, you can share our video through Facebook so um, other people can get inspired to um, live out their dream boards and make it a reality. First couple of steps are done and still a long way to go before we finish and actually go to our little hobby farm. But please send us a comment if you like through Facebook or YouTube. Hey, Root.